The DFO2 chassis has these little ribs in it right here and they are made to firmly locate a stick pack battery like this but when you take a hard case lipo the thing doesn't sit down quite right and you definitely cannot secure it properly with the strap as you can see it does the uh, it doesn't get down over the post quite right even if you could secure it properly this is being held by these little ribs up off of the bottom of the chassis and the weight of the lipo is being higher than it should be so let me show you how we're going to remove these little ribs you're going to take this sturdy carpet knife like this so these don't need to go all the way back to the crease in the wall here, just up to this edge. So what I'm going to do is take the tip of the blade, snug it into the edge like that. And I'm going to firmly drag it up. And I just put a little scratch all the way from that edge to the top here. Other side of it, outward. A little pressure with my finger and scratch. I don't have to be too strong. We're going to grab this and I'm just going to wiggle it. Give a little twist. Hear it? A lot of people will suggest you grind these out and what they mean is to use a Dremel tool or a rotary tool with a sanding bit on it to grind them out. And uh, that's the preferred method. I love my grinder and in fact I'll do a video in the future about why you should have a Dremel tool or a rotary tool. But in case you don't and you have one of these cars and you want to put a lipo in. then this method will work. Alright, so we've cleaned out the main tabs right here for the battery and that was the primary obstruction keeping the battery from fitting. And From the underneath here you'll be able to see that it is not sitting all the way down on there. Uh, what's keeping it up is next the small ribs on the opposite side goes down a little bit further on the outboard side but there's still something keeping it from sitting all the way flat and it's the base circles right here of this stud. That base circle can be safely cut out. There's one more back here, it's dirty. Um, a screw goes up into here and while the base circle does su provide some extra support, I've cut these out before and I can tell you that uh, this is not the place that's gonna fail on this chassis. So I don't mind it. And from here on out, we're gonna need a third tool. This is 
a sharp wood chisel. This is soft plastic and a sharp tool, so it doesn't take really a ton of effort to do. Alright, so it seemed like real slow going, but after several minutes of just rocking like this and rocking like this, you can see this thing is starting to move a little bit. It's starting to get loose. You see what's happening? There it is. After all that wiggling, I think this one is ready to come loose. There it is. So at this point, the battery is sitting pretty low and very flat. Um, the strap still doesn't really go over it and if we look at the bottom we can see that there is still a little space the battery is not going all the way down on the ribs in order to get that last few millimeters of fit we're gonna have to take the chisel here and we're gonna have to take the last bits of the ribs that are sticking up off of the floor of the chassis. And as we can see, it is almost right flat to the carrying ribs underneath. Almost. But if we look closely, you'll see that on this side is a little it's a little higher than this side. You may not have noticed this, but underneath that base circle is another circle. That circle is actually molded into the car's center plate. That circle is right here. And that is keeping the battery slightly higher up that side. So I'm going to take my chisel again and I'm just going to clear that out a little bit. So this is the same exact method we used for the main circle above it, but since there's much thinner plastic being removed here, it goes a lot easier. So I'm in here from below and then from above. And there it is, one millimeter. So we're going to uh, get the other one back here now. All right, and the battery tray is all cleared out. The lipo brick now sits completely flat down onto the bottom of the chassis with the center of gravity as low as possible. Uh, the curves of the battery strap don't quite conform uh, my solution is to raise the post. I'm going to give them both like one turn out and then I'll pull them back up there. And there we go. The lipo is firmly in there. The strap itself has not been compromised by grinding or trimming, so this is strapped uh, as firmly in as the stock battery fitment would have been. In fact, even more so if you consider that it has less work to do now that the LiPo is significantly lighter battery. If you look at the bottom here, you can see that we are 
right down flat as low as possible in the chassis. And we are ready to rock. With a little time and care and the right techniques, you can make use of the tools you have around to, to get a lot of modification done. So I hope that somebody out there learned something and uh, got a nice trick to get a stick lipo into their DFO2. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.